Hey everyone, how are you doing tonight? Happy Monday. Hello replay viewers and hello YouTube viewers. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to participate live, you can download Periscope to your phone and search for penguin and fish. All right, guys, I am going to flip you around and we'll get going. We are starting block 73 of the Splendid Sampler quilt along. And I've been gone for a little while, so it's nice to be back. So, all right, I'm going to flip you guys around. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming in tonight. We're doing Black 73 tonight of the Splendid Sampler Quilt Along. I know, I've been gone for a little while, like almost a week or so. Uh, we got back last night from, or la yesterday afternoon from... Uh, my husband had a film in a film festival, and we were there for the week, and uh, I was just so wiped out after getting home yesterday that I just went to bed. So, <laughs> uh, no scope yesterday, but I'm going to start uh, the block tonight. This is yesterday's new block, so Sunday's new block day, um, and I'm going to do it tonight. So, all right, I'm going to flip it around, and we'll get going right away. Alrighty, here we are. This block looks like it's just super fast and quick, which will be, which will be nice because uh, I wasn't here for Thursday's block, and uh, I'm hoping I could maybe jump and start Thursday's block before this is this is up. Oh, it's, thanks! It's, uh, I'm happy to be back. It was a nice vacation, and it was um all uh it was just perfect weather so oh you got oh for your cruise today that's awesome so we're both both getting back you'll have to let us know how the cruise was it was nice and warm and lovely all right let's get going on this um i'm gonna do this in the way you know it doesn't really show it here this is like a light gray and this is a white oh no you didn't miss anything uh and i am i'm gonna do it with the same color so here it says uh, a and B the ba is the background fabric, and so it's the A and the B. So I'm going to do those the same color, so this ends up just being a little plus here, not not a plus that extends all the way out, which would be kind of cute. I mean, it, it'd look like this, but I'm just going to go by the directions. I like the idea of one little plus in there. So, all right, uh, let's get to the fabric cutting. Um, a subcut into four three-inch squares. So we need four three-inch squares. They're having us cut one long uh, 12 inch and a cross cut. Uh, and then fabric B, which is the same, is subcut into four. Okay, so we need four one and a half by two inch. So we'll do it one at a time. You know what? I think maybe I'll even skip the, the starch tonight. I haven't sewn without starch in a while, and maybe, maybe that'd be a good experiment to, to do again. Let's find a 12 inch kind of area on my fabric here. Ooh, I might, I might luck out right here. This is gonna, I had a yard of fabric for this, so it's a little bigger. Ooh, it's not quite, if I go a little further out, I might be fine. Oh, so maybe, maybe I'll cut the two inch, I'll cut the other stuff first. Um, so one and a half by eight inches, I'll, I'll do that. I'll cut a one and a half inch piece off of here and then I'll cut the three inch inches off and you know what let's give it a little press but I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the the spray starch just to see what happens although in theory I should put some water in my iron and do that with with uh, steam but let's just we'll do a dry iron these aren't so wrinkly I don't think we'll see how it goes all right let's cut the um one and a half by eight inch. So I'm just going to trim a little edge, even though this looks awfully straight. Let's see how straight this is. I suppose we can do a little, well, yeah, it's a little off. So we'll do a tiny little bit of a trim there, and then we'll cut the one and a half inch bit. Okay. So all our stuff is everywhere still. I'm still unpacking from everything, but it was so fun and relaxing. And my parents came too, so that was neat. Uh, they they drove the 
Airstream down. So that was fun. We got to hang out there for a little. Got to see a lot of cute movies and, and well, not all of them, you know, not all of them were cute, but the ones that I liked were cute. <laughs> There's this one, I think one of my favorites was just this little short, it was maybe 10 minutes long or something, called the letter E. And it was just about this girl. It was kind of, kind of really quirky and stuff. I mean, it was shot in a really quirky way. Kind of, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Moonrise Kingdom. Um, it's it kind of was shot a little bit in that sort of funny style. Um, I'm going to cross cut these into, uh, what is it? Two inches. I need four, two inch rectangles out of this. So let's, uh, get a good edge here first and then I'll cross cut the other way. But that one was about, it was like a coming of age sort of, or not even, well, yeah, kind of a coming in of age thing, like a girl and maybe a freshman in high school or junior high or something like that. And it, it was so cute, uh, like there was a little narrator that, uh, it was like, Eleanor uh, loved everything about the letter E. She liked eggs, she liked economics, you know, for her classes, and she had, she had three friends named Emily, Emily, and Emily, and it was just so quirky and fun. So two inches, I just want to double check on this. Okay, one and a half by two inch rectangle, so this looks a little funny, but... It's perfectly fine. Um, and she had uh, a boyfriend named Ed. And Ed liked exercising and uh, eggnog. And it was just kind of funny. But then it turns out that uh, Ed was short for Frederick, which is not an E. It is an F. And he liked french fries and all these other things. So her world was just turned upside down and she had to, uh, and he, he questioned, does, does E really matter? And so everything in her world was uh, turned into a question mark and she just didn't know how to deal with anything anymore and couldn't be with Frederick anymore because he was an F but really missed him and how could, he, how could she miss him if, you know, all she liked was ease and questioning her whole, whole world. And then she, in the end, she decided that uh, E's and F's were okay. <laughs> so I don't know. I thought it was just sweet and cute and funny and quirky. So I think that was actually my favorite one. It's just so silly. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I need to cut uh, four three inch um, squares now. So let's, let's do that. I got my little ends of the pluses off, off, cut. Oh, where did that piece go that I just cut though? Oh, I think this is it. Now it should be big enough uh, for the 12 inches. Yeah, we're fine now. So now I just need to cut three inches off of this. This is our straight edge from before, and then we'll cross cut into three inches. We're using up this fabric, that's, that's nice. It's always fun to, I mean, this is fabric I've had for years and years and years, so it's it's nice that it's finally getting used. So three inches, just double check. Yep, three inches is what it needs to be. But man, that was a lot of movies to watch in a short amount of time. A lot of dark rooms to be sitting in, but it was it was really a lot of fun. All right, done with that fabric. It can go off to the side. Let's cross cut our three inch pieces out of here. Let me just get a nice edge here first. All right, and John's movie, a lot of people came to see that and, and it, I thought it went over really well and People seemed to really like it and said, said they uh, liked it afterwards and stuff. Oh, thanks, Diane. Um, so, so that was really cool. We're going to be showing it at our, at our house. We're, we're going to do a little make up a, make a little screening room here sort of thing for cast and crew. 
So that'll be kind of neat. Coming up soon. Which means we gotta clean the house before then. <laughs> My brain goes right to the like how to get it done of stuff, and that's that's one of it. Oh man! And your your hubby? I'm guessing that's what that means. Wow. So how's how's he doing? I mean, I'm guessing he'll start to feel better soon with a. If his hip was causing a lot of trouble. Ooh, that's a big deal. Hope you're doing okay, too. Alright, here's the last... Last square here. Alright, nice big scrap. I'll put those scraps to the side here. Okay, so that's the start of it. You know, this is gonna be our um, outside little bits. He's a trooper. Up and walking, what? Crazy. Oh good, oh, and you're sewing again, oh, that's nice. That's how, I mean, they do surgeries and stuff these days. Like they, I mean, my husband, you know, this is not the same thing, clearly, but uh, he had his um, uh, knee, Oh gosh, what's that called now? Where your knee kind of, the tendon in your, one of the tendons in your knee, in his knee popped and he needed surgery for that. But he, they made him, like he was on a machine that, that moved his knee constantly. Um, now they don't want you to just let it sit. Now they want you to get up and move around, which is kind of interesting. At least for that. I mean, you know, again, I don't, the hip is totally different and stuff, but it sounds... Sounds something like that. Anthroscope. Three days in the hospital and home again. Oh, wow. Yes, move, move. Oh, see, interesting. That, like, I just find that really interesting that, that that's the thing. Because, you know, it used to be like, don't do anything. And... Okay. We need C pieces. Okay, those are our four little bits around here. Uh, we need four one and a half inch squares. So uh, we need, you know, like I said, I think we need about six inches. So scared but effective. Ah, oh, okay, good. Glad, glad that's done. Okay, so I'm gonna do this bright blue for the C, and then the D. I'm gonna just do that tiny little square in the middle. Oh, I got a lot of fabric here. Um, wow, there's no like small place to cut. I think I might just, uh, we'll just cut a little piece off of here, I think. Let's, let's press it though quick first. I'm still working in this really small workspace. I'm gonna have to clean up over here soon and just get rid of the things I don't need sitting around here. It's that time again. Things are accumulating. I don't like it. All right, let's just trim right out of that area there. I like this blue. It's so bright and pretty. This is one of my acquirements from, from my mom's stash. Okay, so what do I need here? I need uh, four one and a half inch squares. So let's start by, we'll just cut up this rectangle here. Get a nice edge. That should be good. Ooh, we are really blurry. There we go. And I'll just trim right here as well right away. Okay, clip the ruler a little bit there. Get rid of this guy. Okay, now I'll flip that around and uh, get the six and a half inch or so, and um, I'm gonna make sure that all these guys are out of my way. Then we'll cross cut to the one and a half inches, one and a half inch squares, which is right there.
Alright. And I could draw this cross pit over here a little bit. I think I'm a little off the screen. Alright. Got it. So we're done with this too. So much nicer without all that fabric laying around. Okay, so this is the, I mean, we've, we've cut nice edges on both, I think, but I think this one was a little bit better. So we need four one and a half inch squares out of here. Oh, you keep losing connection. Have you tried going all the way out and coming back in? Ooh, I just switched this blade. Oh, well, nicked that one a little. How oh, clear for you? Okay, good. Alright. Two more. The bummer about a lot of these short or a lot of these films that we saw is that you can't watch them anywhere after, you know what I mean? Um there's just no real home for them or people are still trying to go and sell them and, and that sort of thing. Um, but it, it's just like, you know, if I see a cool movie, it, there's, you know, no way for me usually to be like, oh my gosh, you have to go see this, this movie. All right. I need one out of here. I'm guessing. Yep. Cut one, one and a half inch square. Let's just uh, trim it right here. I'm not gonna iron because it's at a flat piece here. So I got a little nick, a little nick out of the bottom. Wow, this is, this this guy is so affecting the color of the screen. It's just kind of crazy. So we'll get out of out of it quick. Do a cut this way. All right, that's our one and a half. The phone just wants to color correct for me, and wow, it's really different. All right, and we'll, I'm just going to move this out of the way. This is probably not the, that's kind of a, maybe a silly way to cut a one and a half inch square, but oh well. I just need one. It's kind of like I'm fussy cutting it a little bit. There we go. I'm just gonna go zoop, all the way off. All right, and we have all of our pieces. That means we can sew already. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be a nice, uh, quick and easy block, I think. So let's kind of lay these out just to just see them. So we got these like this and these guys this is we'll sew these to uh together first funny little funny little rectangles little fat rectangles that are just gonna go shoop, get sucked sucked in once we sew them all up all right and then our four outsides so we'll do these together these together these together and then we'll do our kind of nine patch so this will be a group so these three and then this will be a group and this will be a group here so those three pieces and then these top three pieces so that that's that's it um so all right so we start off with with just these and we can chain piece those all together it looks like and it it looks like they want us to press it open so Suppose we could just do that. We'll press it open today and we'll use the wonder clips. We'll do it that way. So, all right, to the machine. All right, let's sew all these guys. So, um, I don't have to pay attention to different patterns or anything like that because it's all just this really easy dot pattern. And this blue fabric, I'm going to get the little stiletto. I like using that. The blue fabric doesn't have, um, let's get a, a leader in here. The blue fabric is just uh, one side. Looks easy. 
Yeah, this this one I think is a pretty easy block. I mean, you still have to you have to re still really pay attention to your scant quarter seam allowance and um, you know sewing straight and all that. So I'm still paying close attention to that because I'm not always the best at that. Yeah, nice to have a a, a quick one. You know, I don't know why I'm doing the white on top. I could be doing it this way too. So I don't know. I'm just gonna keep doing it the same. And I still have not switched my presser foot back to uh, my my foot here back to the walking foot. I used to have it have a walking foot on it. That's part of me needing to clean up my space again and just. Uh, get things back how I like it. And I, you know what, I, I'd still like to kind of use uh, my husband's great grandma's sewing machine that's still sitting here too. And we were having some funny tension issues on that. So I'd kind of like to maybe test that out again. And this actually would have been a really good block to do that with, but oh well. We're sewing with this now. Uh, but it'd be fun to play with that one a little bit more too. And um, just use that a little bit. Last one. I mean, this is it. Then we're doing like the nine patch already. And a nine patch is just a three, a three unit by three unit block, really. I mean, typically it would be all the same size square. So nine squares the same, but I don't know. I'm calling this a nine patch once we, once we have these pieces sewn together. So where, I don't know where my other ender is. So we'll just snip it off and this one's getting pretty ratty too. Oh, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I missed you guys too. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's definitely, it, it was weird. Like when I was getting set up for this today, I'm like, wow, I haven't sewn in a, in a long time. It feels like forever. And what's so funny is before I did the splendid sampler, I hadn't, and before I started doing these periscopes, I hadn't sewn in a long time. And now it feels weird if I don't, if I don't sew. Aw. <laughs> You guys are nice. Super duper nice. All right, I'm going to press these guys just to get it going. And I'm gonna press to one side first and then um, we'll flip it and we'll do that open seam thing. You just see my face when I couldn't find you. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I was, uh, just gone for it. I know, I think this is the, maybe the longest, oh, maybe the second longest time that I've been off of Periscope. And I think it's been the longest time for, for the Splendid Sampler, maybe. I don't know, I got some catch up to do. I didn't, I haven't even really looked at Thursday's block. <laughs> so I don't know, did you guys get Thursday's block all done? I gotta, gotta check that out. So I mean, it, I think it's pretty clear we are gonna finish this one tonight. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'll try not to leave again. How about that? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this block is going so fast. I mean, we might have a bunch of time uh, left over. This might be a short night tonight. Oh, nope, not changed from Periscope. Still, still here. Um, we talked about switching to Twitch and, and I'm still kind of looking into that, but I have some stuff going on and, and, uh, so it probably won't happen till, um, the, uh, maybe next year, early next year. You're about halfway done with, with yesterday's block, or not yesterday's, um, 72. Oh, you're waiting to do 72. Well, I'm thinking that I will start 72, um, tomorrow. Cause, oh, I know, you know, like guys, I'm going to be gone tomorrow too. Cause tomorrow is my, is my painting class. <laughs> so I'll be gone tomorrow too. So I won't, I'll be back on Wednesday again. So Wednesday I will start block 72. And, um, I only have three more classes left though of the painting class. So three more Tuesdays I'll be out and then I'll be, and I'll be back on all the Tuesdays again too. So soon it'll be every day again. <laughs> it's been weird not not doing it every day like with with that class and stuff, but soon it will be 
every night again. Alrighty. This is the last one of these. I know, I just, I forgot about painting class too till just like this second when I said Tuesday. I was gonna paint when, um, when we were at the, uh, the film festival, but I ended up not, not, uh, having time. I, you know, we hung out and stuff instead, so I didn't get a paint, uh, but I do want to do some outside painting, um, still yet, or, you know, just painting, painting on my own in general, painting outside of class, so I'd like to do periscopes of that, too. I think that'd be fun. So, all right, here I just, I set these down as I went, so all we got to do now is we'll sew this row together, and this row together, and this row, and then sew those together. So I'm going to start out by sewing these two, then these two, then these two, and then I'll snip them apart, and then I'll sew the second halves of all of, of this together. So that's kind of the order we'll be going. I'll scooch it all forward so you guys can see when I turn a little bit. But that's that's the plan. So okay. Oh, I think this is so cute. I like that I went with just the little plus. It would have been cute with doing these a different color too. Uh, it would have been like a nice big plus, but I think it'll be kind of cute. This one little floating blue uh, plus sign in here. So all right, let's let's sew. We'll start with these guys. So now this time, yeah, this one's nice and easy. There's nothing really to match up or anything. Good, easy block. So I'm putting this one on top now just uh, so I can keep an eye on what's going on, like so I can keep an eye on that I'm not flipping um, the seam allowances around and stuff. Oh wow, that's really bright. Ah! Alright, trying to fix the camera here. There we go. Alright, that's... Ah, I'm trying to get it so this isn't so bright here, but it's just not looking like that's in the cards. Alright. Again, I'm really paying attention to my scant quarter as best I can. I can tell that this is... it's feeling different than my walking foot, like... It is, um, the walking foot allows me to, like, it holds both sides of the fabric at once. This way it kind of only holds or pulls on the bottom and it just slides on the top. And I can tell that there's, you know, some friction on the top, um, making the top move slower than the bottom, which, you know, makes the fabric on the top drag compared to the bottom. So I can tell that there's a difference between this foot and the walking foot. But, I don't know, trying to get used to it. All right, last one here. Line up through the edges. I love this bright blue fabric, it's so bright. I'm just kind of using this stiletto as just a placement for a finger, really. It's kind of like a pin, I'm just holding it there. All right, so let's snip the one off the top. We can actually snip the middle one right away too. Last one's still on the machine. I'm gonna sew, I think, both sides before pressing them open. All right, get rid of the leader. All right, so this is the top one. So it goes, we can sew this guy on now. And now I'm sewing with this one on top instead of this guy, uh, just because I think then my, my seams will be sewn in the same direction. So in theory, it will, it'll pull in the same direction. I'm, I'm, I think that's not maybe so important for something this small, but I don't know. All right, now this, oh wait, did I have that right? Yeah, plus, the plus goes together. 
I love how these little pieces shrink up to nothing once you sew these seam allowances. All right, let's snip that last one off. All right, this is the bottom one. Goes like that. I haven't printed out Thursday's Black the Black 72 yet either. My mom said there were circles on it. That's all I know about it. <laughs> all right, let's get the leader in here. And we are good with that. Now let's let's just snip these apart and then press them and then we just got our last couple of seams. Wow, this is gonna be a super fast block. I could see a quilt with all these little pluses in it. Don't you think that'd be? I just think that'd be really cute. Look how it's shrinking up. It's so funny. All right, so let's press that. It looks like I've stretched it like this, <laughs> but it's not sewn together. All right, let's press those. So again, it wants them pressed open. I'm not very good at pressing things when I've already sewn two sides of it. I'm just kind of pressing the seam a little bit. I think we're just going to finger press it and then press it flat. Maybe that's the best way to do it. All right. You didn't press open. Maybe I won't press it open. Oh yeah, you know what? I haven't, I haven't opened my email. Uh, I'm a. That's like my tomorrow's project. I'm trying to get back in, the, back in the real, back in the real world again. Basically, you know what? I'm not gonna press it open either. I like nesting my seams together. Maybe we'll still use the wonder clips, but I'm gonna press the top and bottom pieces out, and then I'll press these this piece in and then we will be able to do nested seams. I'm just doing it that way. I like, I like the nested seams. And I can just press like this right away. Just kind of pull in a little, I'm not really stretching it. I'm just kind of making that seam flat. We'll press it from the front too. The other seams we didn't, we pressed flat, but I don't think we really need need to do that either. Some people just like them flat, some people like them pressed to a side, or pressed open versus pressed press to a side, not, not flat. I mean, I guess there's, there's reasons for both ways, I'm sure. Just sewing the seam again quick. I don't know. We're out of habit, I think, than anything. press this. Oh, think of a flower from old video games. That's funny. Totally, it totally looks like that. <laughs> I just need a cute little stem. Just like some 8-bit game or something. Alright. Let's see what we got now. Alright. And there we are. I think I might have sewn this seam a hair for good. Yeah, a little Atari flower. Exactly. All right, well, there we are. Now we just have these three seams. And you know what? I think I am going to just use a little wonder clip. Oh, shoot. I always open those wrong. Here we go. Instead of pins. So I'm going to sew this piece first, uh, these two edges together, and then I will sew the rest. So here's what I mean by the nested seam. So this this uh, seam is pressed this way, and this one is pressed this way. So opposite directions. I can just kind of um, butt them up against to each other because they both make a little ledge. And once I butt that up, uh, I'm just going to throw a wonder clip right in there. Like a little pin. And I probably wouldn't even need clips at all. I could probably do this whole thing without that, but. Oh well. 
And then just with this second one too, I, maybe I'll just butt those up against each other right away. Throw another wonder clip. I like using these wonder clips now instead of pins. And again, I with the with the nesting of the seams, sometimes I won't even pin like or or do anything like this. I will nest the first one and I'll just kind of hold it there and then sew to that point, and then I will nest the second one and sew. But I don't know, wonder clips this time. So all right, let's do that seam. All right, just trying to line these up a hair more. clip I'm just still kind of holding holding that those nested seams together all right now the needles in that seam so I'm gonna release this second one kind of nest them together hold them there I'm not sure I did that very well we'll see we'll see how well this matches up leader back again. I had two of these. I need to make another one. All right, let's see how we did there. Ooh, those look great. Look at those points. So that's what uh, the nested seams allowed us to match up those points. Just, just perfect there. So woohoo, that looks good. Uh, let's do, um, you know what, I think I'm going to press this first. I think it's just a little easier uh, instead of the double press thing. Um, we'll just give this a press. And I think maybe this one will press open just because it'll reduce a little bit of the bulk. So I'm just going to press it to the one side first. Or maybe I'll just say, who cares? I think we'll just do it like that. So there's the bottom or the top, and now let's, I uh, guess that was the top. Let's match it up with this seam, and we'll do the same thing, the same, um, that seemed to work real well. We'll nest it. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I mean, I'm trying to get better. It's definitely, I've definitely improved since starting this blended sample. So I'm, I'm nesting the seam still. I'm just kind of laying them on the, on the, on a flat surface and I'm moving the seams together until I can feel that those ridges meet. And I'm going to throw a wonder clip there. I still think I need to pick it up. Right on there. And let's do the other side quick. Put that up. So I think this one I sewed a little crooked, so I think that this dark blue piece is actually a hair bigger. Uh, so we may need it stretch it a little bit as we sew. So we can get these seams, but we'll see how this goes. Alright, let's do it. Then we're done. Kind of crazy. Quick, quick, quick block. You know what? I think that was a good a good way to get back into things, just to get a nice quick block. <laughs> Makes me feel like, okay, I know what I'm doing again. Here we go. Yeah, this is, a, this is so fast. And again, this would just be the cutest. I think this would be a really cute baby quilt. Little plus sign on it. All right, hopefully that did okay. <laughs> That one. Oops. Grabbing a little some threads here. Alright. I'm usually pretty good at one side, and then the other side, the points end up being a little funny, but we'll see. Let's see how we did this time. Alright, let's get the leader in here. And. 
see how we did on this one, and then we will press it. Or for, oh, these would be great pillows. Ah, that one's looking pretty dang good too. Fancy points. Woohoo! All right, let's press that, and oh, I think it's so cute. Just one little plus in the middle there. I like it. Let's, uh, how did we do this last time? Go like this. Like the little blue plus. I think it's just cute. Alrighty. I suppose it'd be better if I pressed it open, but meh. I'll measure it quick because um, it looks like I need to trim a little bit. Press it really well here. If I'm not stretching it funny. There. All right. Let's uh, just do a quick trim on it. Or just double check. I was pulling at it a little funny, but I think we're good. Cute. I love it. All right. Let's do a quick trim. Or just a, ch a check. I don't know if we really need to do a trim. Oh, it looks like a, we have a little excess on the bottom that we can trim off, but the rest looks like a, oh, maybe not. Actually, we were a little shy here, so I'm not going to trim trim anything. Oops. Uh, we, were, we were a little short here, so I probably just sewed a little too much. Um, but there we are! All done! That was a good, good one to get into it again. <laughs> Cute! I love it! I love these colors. I love it. I think it's going to look so fun in the quilt too. So, all right, I'm going to flip you guys around and we will call it an early one tonight. Whew, it's so fun to do a whole block in one night. So here we are. All done. It's so cute. I love it. It's so simple and, and just sweet. And, you know, you still have our itty bitty pieces that we're working with, which are just kind of fun, which is kind of the whole thing with the Splendid Sampler, it seems, all these itty bitty pieces. But yay! I love the simplicity too, just sweet and pretty and fun. Um, awesome! So thanks for coming back, guys. I know I've been gone for a little while. Um, I'm gonna, I'll get this up on YouTube and stuff. Not that this one's all that difficult, but hey, this would be a good uh, starter block for someone, for sure, I think. Um, even though it is small pieces yet, but maybe that'll make it even easier for us for a starter block. Um, but yeah, so I'll get this up on Penguin and Fish Movies and we'll call it early tonight. And again, tomorrow I have my painting class. I'll do a short scope from there. And Wednesday I will start on uh, block 72 because I, I missed that one. That was Thursday's block. All right, guys, that's the plan. And thanks again for having me. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow after my painting class. So good night, guys.